All right, let's talk about abstract classes or interfaces. So in order to create an abstract class, you need a class that cannot be, well, that's cannot be used as an actual class, as a class object. So I'll do language because we can speak languages like English or Spanish, but we don't actually speak the language language. It just doesn't exist. So in order to create this, I need to have at least one pure virtual method. So let's do a pure virtual method, method, pure. So what is a pure virtual method? Well, it seems like you'd use the word pure virtual, but that isn't actually the case because the keyword pure was not one they wanted to use. So it is use virtual and I'll make this void. I'm going to greet. And instead of actually having a definition here, I'm going to have an equals zero. That makes it a method that has, well, it makes it a pure virtual method. There's no pure keyword because the people who are inventing that thought, you know, what, we have too many new keywords. They didn't realize that all the rest of the languages in the future would have even more keywords, but that's okay. So now we have this virtual void greet equals zero. If I would go down here and I try to create an object of language type, so language X, it doesn't let me do it. I highlight over it and it says language is an abstract class, so I can't do it. I can, however, do a pointer, so we'll do that. Now I'm going to create some derivative classes, so I'll do Spanish, and Spanish is going to inherit from language. And this language abstract class is basically a contract. It says we're going to have to provide a greet method. So I'll go ahead and provide that greet method right here. So I'll do public and I will do void greet. And this one I will just have a simple see out command that prints out hola and There we go. I can do another one, uh, Japanese. So I do class Japanese and public language. And I'll do a public and void greet. And it, once again, it's going to just print out the word the greeting. So I'll do Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. And L. All right. So now we have two of them, Spanish and Japanese. I can go ahead and create two different pointers here. Language. And I could either use uh, language or I could be more specific. In this case, I'm going to use right here a new Spanish. And this one right here is a new Japanese. I can then use these methods inside of them. X arrow greet. And I can use the Y arrow greet. And so I should see my Spanish greeting followed by my Japanese greeting. So I run this, you can see Hola and konnichiwa. So there you go. So we can see this abstract class. Once again, abstract classes have at least one pure virtual method. A pure virtual method is a method that starts with virtual and it ends with an equal zero as opposed to a definition. And then any languages or any um, classes that implement this abstract class they need to make sure they create all of the required methods inside of it. So here are abstract classes and pure virtual methods.